This is insane. My heart rate would literally get up to like 200 just from standing up a couple years ago. Hey my friends, if you've been around here for a while, you'll probably know that one of the chronic illnesses I was diagnosed with when I first got sick is POTS, which stands for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. And another word for that is dysautonomia. So POTS is a type of dysautonomia, and that's something that I'm currently recovering from and healing from. And I thought in this video we could do kind of a fun little experiment where I do a, a poor man tilt table test, where basically I'm just going to be laying down for five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna take my heart rate and I'll sit up take my heart rate and then stand um, for five to 10 minutes and see how my heart rate is affected. I have a really good feeling that I may not even meet the criteria for POTS anymore. I haven't taken my heart rate with this in probably years. It's something that I haven't thought about or tracked at all, um, just because like I'm focusing on healing and trusting that my body is recovering and um, overall I'm doing really well. My POTS symptoms have dramatically decreased um, and in some instances it feels like it's they're completely gone. And so I'm really, really happy with the progress I'm making. Recovering from POTS is completely possible. Just keep in mind that Really the definition of dysautonomia is that your nervous system isn't working properly. And we're able to rewire our brains to calm the nervous system, get out of that chronic survival state that most people with chronic illness are stuck in so that our bodies can actually start to heal and go into rest and repair mode. And for me, the most helpful thing for my POTS symptoms specifically has been brain retraining. So I started with the DNRS program and I'll put a link to their website in the description. And then about six months later, I went through the GUPTA program as well. And I have several videos on both of those programs, my experiences with them, the pros and cons. And so you can take a look at that. I think I have a playlist called brain retraining. And basically the idea with it is that in order to heal, we need to regulate the nervous system and come out of that chronic stress state so that our body can start to heal. And so brain retraining doesn't at all suggest that your illness is in your head. It suggests that your nervous system isn't functioning properly by no fault of your own. Um, so anyways, I'm just gonna do this little experiment and um, I'll take you guys along with me. All right, so my heart rate before laying down is 97. It's probably just from talking on the YouTube video. Sometimes I'm a little bit nervous or whatever. I'm just gonna lay down now and get my heart rate down to a relaxed, rested state. And then we'll stand up and see what happens. All right, so it's been quite a few minutes. My heart rate is now around 85. I'm gonna start sitting up now, and then I'm gonna stand up. And we will see what happens. I'm sit up for just a few minutes here. Wow. A couple of years ago, my heart rate would have been like 180, 190 by now. I've been standing for a little over a minute now. I'm kind of hovering between 95 and very low 100s. 
obviously me talking and me making a video at the same time might actually be influencing my heart rate and making it a bit higher than it would be if I wasn't <laughs> making a video at the same time. But this is insane. My heart rate would literally get up to like 200 just from standing up a couple years ago. My POTS was very severe. And uh, look at this. All right, I'm gonna stop talking here for a couple minutes and just stand and see how it goes. Another thing that has improved a lot is I can just stand. I can stand around at church talking to my friends for 30 minutes and be just fine. Before that wasn't even remotely a possibility for me. At my worst, I really couldn't stand for any amount of time without risk of fainting um, or severe symptoms. And so this is just an incredible blessing. And I, sorry, I'm trying to fix my uh, overall here, but I just don't wanna take any of it for granted. Health is such a gift and um, recovery really is possible. Okay, so I stood up for almost 10 minutes and the whole time I was standing, my heart rate kind of fluctuated between like 95 and like 117. And mind you, I was filming during part of it and talking during part of it. So that also is something that can elevate your heart rate. But with POTS, the diagnostic criteria is a sustained heartbeat increase of, I think 30 beats per minute after standing for that prolonged amount of time. So when I was laying down, I believe I was around 85. Obviously it doesn't look like I meet the diagnostic criteria anymore. And that's pretty cool. It was crazy to me that the little pulse oximeter never went above 120. Like it's been years since I've tested that and it used to go up to crazy numbers. And even if I was calm, my heart rate still just went crazy. And so I thought this progress would be kind of fun to share and just to see that metric of improvements. For quite a long time, I didn't track anything, heart rate, blood pressure, anything like that, just because that was the right decision for me and my healing, because I just wanted to take my mind away from it completely. But now I'm to the point where I don't, I feel like it's totally fine for me to test metrics or have blood tests or whatever it is like I'm not concerned about whatever the result's going to be like even if I still showed like POTS criteria in this video I that wouldn't have bothered me because it's more about how I'm feeling and I'm doing better and that is what matters so yeah um I hope this video was interesting for you and just remember that recovery from POTS and dysautonomia is absolutely possible and regulating the nervous system in my opinion is the most important thing for recovery from dysautonomia. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.